I'm Scott Cousins, editor of the Frankfurt Times, and these are some of the stories you'll see in Thursday's edition of the paper. Wednesday marked the 10th snow day declared by the Rossville school officials this academic year, squeezing the district's already tight calendar even further. In response, a proposal has picked up steam to schedule snow makeup days on Saturdays, with the Rossville School Board giving the go-ahead Tuesday night for three such possible weekend school days, one each in February, March, and April. Counting competitions, concerts, and theatrical productions, vocalists at Frankfurt High School are keeping busy these days. More than a dozen FHS students earned honors last Saturday for their performances at the Vocal Solo and Ensemble Competition at Harrison High School in Lafayette. Choral director Matt Denniston said he's not surprised by the that his students did well again this year. Eleven of Denniston's students took silver medals and six earned gold. Furthermore, four of them qualified for the state-level competition to take place February 22nd. And as Bar President Barack Obama is set to sign a long-stalled farm bill in Michigan today, or Friday, Paul Dorsey, president of the Clinton County Farm Bureau, said he's pleased that the bill is finally moving forward. Congress passed the Farm Bill Tuesday on a bipartisan vote, 68 to 32, setting policy that will have a direct effect on both farmers and the poor. And finally, many people joined the, U joined the U.S. Army to see the world, but on Sunday, the world got to see Staff Sergeant Jesse Lennon at the Super Bowl. Lennon, a Frankfurt native and 2002 Clinton Central graduate, was part of the Armed Forces Color Guard, presenting the colors at the pregame ceremonies, and he carried the U.S. flag. Lennon is a member of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, also known as the Old Guard, which is the U.S. Army's ceremonial unit and is stationed at Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia. For more, buy a copy of Thursday's edition of The Times, or visit ftimes.com. Again, I'm Scott Cousins, and thank you.